Hello, and what is going on today, guys? Tomcat here, and today we are going to be talking about Forza Motorsport 7, and we're going to be talking about things that I want to see, things that, uh, discussing in the comments, things that you guys want to see, and, uh, some likely, uh, just some kind of, some speculation on what we think could likely be in the game. Now, I'm... First thing I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and get out of the way is like if you look at the release schedule of Forza Motorsport it would make sense for another motorsport game to be announced at E3 this year. I mean it seems like it would make sense, right? Um, and the next the next in the series would of, of course be the 7th installment. Now, some things that I'm imagining right off the bat are going to be obviously I'm thinking cross-platform play with PC and Xbox One I think will probably be very uh, or it should, speculating wise, I, I, I think would be awesome to see that be more and more implemented, uh, into the game, as well as, oh, and quick side note, this lap of the Nürburgring that I did in the Ford GT, uh, this was all done on my wheel, um, my, uh, Thrustmaster TX with the pedals, um, I was actually using paddle shifters with, but with manual with clutch, so, I don't know, it's fun, a lot of people think I'm weird for using paddle shifters with a clutch, but, uh, I don't know, it's fun, I enjoy it, so, um, now with that out of the way, another thing I wanted to talk about is basically the the, the inclusion of, uh, you know, different customization parts and stuff like that. I would hope that all of the aftermarket wheels from Horizon 3 would be brought over. I would personally would really love for that to be a thing um, and for new wheels themselves to be added. And I know also the drift crowd would be very, very interested in having uh, different wheels front and rear. If we could have that, that would be amazing, and I would definitely use that on my drift cars primarily, but even on cars that I was just customizing, it would be a really cool addition. Now, I think a lot of people that play Forza Motorsport, you have a very wide range of people. You have people like me who, and I'll be completely honest, I, I generally what I play Forza Motorsport for is I play Horizon for fun, Motorsport I play for hot laps. Um, over the course of the past year, I've gotten very much into doing doing hot laps, time attack style stuff, just in my off time, and I don't really show it much on the channel, but, uh, but time attack and hot lapping and leaderboards have become very, very uh, fun for me, and something I've been really, really into in, in Forza Motorsport. Now, am I, you know, like, top on leaderboards? No. I, I, I did have one, the, the, the closest I was, I was to being at the top of any leaderboard was I had a, uh, let's see, in the Toyota GT86 class, I was number two in the world for A class on the Nurburgring for a little while. I remember that, and I'm not sure if that time still stands, um, I just remember that I, that, that, that I, I had that record at second place for a while. Um, but anyways, regardless, just a little bit of a background on my, uh, on my personal, um, like, how I play the game, I think the customization is a big deal, but also, I would like to see, for wheel players, I would like to see a little bit of an improvement in the force feedback. It's good, it's just not to where it could be quite yet. Um, I think, and that, that, that is a smaller portion of players that, that are gonna ask for something like that, but I think, personally, um, I would very much love to see a update to the wheel, uh, the, the, the wheel setup, and, and how that actually, how it, how it functions, and, uh, the custom, the customizability, sorry, I don't know why that word was hard to get out, but the customizability of your force feedback, of your settings, and, um, I play right now, it actually would be a good time to mention, this was a sketchy moment, I was so close to the wall, I had to throw the wheel one way and then the opposite direction to save that, but it was close, um, I have my wheel on 720 degree rotation. Um, I find that 720 works best for me for circuit racing. Um, 900 I use sometimes, but I generally use 720. 720 is what I prefer. Um, a lot of people always accuse me of using 540 all the time, and I've used 540 maybe twice. Uh, I used 540 like twice, didn't like it, went to 900, was like, okay, this is okay, I need a good in-between, stuck on 720, and it worked great. So that's kind of the, 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 the middle ground of where I decided to be with the wheel. And I would like to see also, I would like to see retro tracks come back. Retro tracks are definitely something that I would love to see make a return in Forza Motorsport 7 um, as a as just like as a whole package I really would love to see things from Forza 2 things from even Forza 1 um, I want Fujimi Kaido back I know that's like kind of beating a dead horse at this point but I want Fujimi Kaido back it's there's no 
denying that people want that track again. And people at Turn 10, if you're watching this video, I feel like you kind of knew that Fujimi Kaido was going to be brought up. Um, I'm going to bring it up. I, I just am. That's It's like people want Fujimi Kaido back, and I'm not sure what the story is behind Fujimi Kaido being a little bit of an iffy subject, but... Uh, I, and I'm not sure why they just kind of, they, they, they either don't want to address it or they're like, eh, we're, we're just gonna let that be in the past, uh, but I think, I think Fujimi Kaido could make an amazing return, and, uh, trust me, like, half of your players would spend, like, 60 to 70 percent of their time just on that track. I, I know I did back in Forza 4, so, um, that, I think, is definitely a big deal, but, um, Definitely bringing over all the wheels, the aftermarket wheels from Horizon 3, bringing in retro tracks, um, cross-platform with, with PC, like, like, dedicated. So, like, if you've got a friend playing on PC, you want to come over to, um, a lobby that somebody's hosting on Xbox, boom, you got it, it's done. Um, that, I think, would streamline it a lot. I mean, I know that a big part of the player base is still on Xbox over PC, and I understand that. But I think the option would be very nice to have, and also the improved force feedback uh, for wheel players like myself would be a really nice addition as well. And this lap was going so well until I dipped one wheel off the track and got caught by that I call it magnetic grass and uh, and pulled towards the wall. And uh, it would have been it would have been a clean lap otherwise. But it was a standing start lap, and I think we managed like a seven sixteen or something, which is really good for a street car. Like a stock street car, even even though it is a street supercar, that's really good for a stock street car around the Nurburgring from a standing start. I mean, if that's from a standing start, I bet you I could get this thing under seven minutes from, well, I don't know, actually. I bet you I could get it right around, give or take, seven minutes on a flying lap. I just didn't try a flying lap this time around. So, if you guys have any suggestions for what you would like to see in Forza Motorsport 7, let's talk about it in the comments below. I'll be down there reading, commenting back, and giving you guys my thoughts on what I think, um what I think of your ideas, what I think uh, the game is going to be li like, what I think the game could, could benefit from. And if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later.